Mortal Kombat was released in theaters in 1995 and was based on the hit video game series that brought in much controversy in the media. The arcade and home console installments of Mortal Kombat pushed for a need for a rating standard due to its blood, gore, and violence. Mortal Kombat is considered to be perhaps the greatest video game and movie adaptation ever released at the time. It had a memorable cast, though a simple story, and who could forget the music? Video game adaptations over the years were really disappointing. Starting with movies like Super Mario Bros., Street Fighter, and Double Dragon were just some of those video game movies that were released in the early 1990s. Then there was The Wizard, which wasn't really a terrible movie, though it wasn't really a video game adaptation, and it's considered to be some to actually be a 100-minute advertisement for Nintendo. On a budget of $18 million, Mortal Kombat grossed over $122 million worldwide, making it a big box office success. It only makes sense for a sequel to come out, right? Right? Heck, the studios thought of making two more sequels. Unfortunately, in 1997, one of the worst movies of all time was released, Mortal Kombat Annihilation. It came out without most of the original cast. It was so bad that we're not going to try to even fix it, because you really can't. Or maybe it's a parody that should be left alone. Who knows? But rather, we're going to reimagine it as a, at least a B-movie instead of the F that it deserves. At the end of the first Mortal Kombat movie, our heroes celebrate the defeat of Shang Tsung until the evil Emperor Shao Kahn makes an appearance and our heroes are ready to do battle. Gosh, just to think of it, there really shouldn't be a sequel. It was a good ending. Anyway, the movie begins with Raiden, Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade, and Kitana standing in fighting position. It was only Shao Kahn's image that we see appearing in the clouds above. It disappears. A portal opens and out comes Sindel, the mother of Kitana and Shao Kahn's wife. Kitana is in shock that her mother is alive. Sindel says that Shao Kahn resurrected her, and she is here to announce that a final tournament will take place for it all. If they lose the world, well, if they lose, the our heroes lose, the world will fall. The Earth Realm, that is. If Shao Kahn is defeated, the winner will become the new emperor of the outer world and can do whatever they wish. Raiden argues that with Sindel and wants to speak to Shao Kahn. Ra Raiden believes this is all wrong. However, Sindel uses her scream to shock Raiden and takes him back to the portal. We learn that Raiden has been imprisoned in a special dungeon Shao Kahn built for him. Our heroes don't know what to do. Shao Kahn appears and says the tournament will start right away and he will choose mortals himself. But they must do it without Raiden. Liu Kang demands Raiden back and challenges Khan to a fight right away. Khan gets angry and uses his powers to throw our heroes separately into different worlds. We get introduced to Sonya's best friend Jax, who Shao Kahn captures and demands he fight in the tournament, but for his side. Liu Kang jumps into the land of the Deadpool. Sub-Zero's brother f appears to fight Liu Kang. Khan Kang defeats him at ease when he melts into the acid. Johnny Cage ends up at a tomb. He faces Baraka and fights him off, managing to get in a strong enough of a shadow kick that Baraka's head rolls over to the ground. However, Cage notices he's deeply wounded and injured. Sonya Blade is in the desert. He, she wanders around till Jax appears. She's happy to see him, but Jax is nearly in tears that he has to fight Sonya because he has no choice. Sonya doesn't believe it. Jax says if she refuses, the outer world will take over the Earth realm. He has to fight her. Sonya calls for Shao Kahn until Jax fights her. It starts off slow, but Sonya manages to fight back and beat Jax despite being hurt in the fight. She wants to keep Jax alive, but Shao Kahn appears in the sky and demands she finish him or her world will fall. Jax says to save the world and sacrifices himself to do so. Kitana appears in the same room where Shang Tsung was defeated in the first film. Jade appears and fights her. Kitana defeats her the same way Shang Tsung fell. Suddenly, Smoke appears and grabs Kitana and takes her away. Kitana meets with Shao Kahn, who wants her to join his side. Katana says she never would. Shao Kahn says he, he makes the rules in this tournament and that he has something planned for her. Meanwhile, Raiden is trying to find a way out and speaks to the elders, but they don't want to help him or interfere. Raiden is saddened, but focuses all his energy and powers to find a way out. Kang, Cage, and Blade are together again near a portal to the outer world. We found out that Johnny Cage cannot continue this so-called tournament. He, has, he is patched up by Sonya, and while, Kang, while Liu Kang tries to find a way into the portal... The portal itself opens on its own, and Cage is forced to fight Shiva. Kang and Blade plead with Shao Kahn, who finally appears to watch the fight. It's, it's unfair. How, Cage is injured. He can't do it. Khan says surrender their souls or Cage fights. Cage decides to fight, and Shiva dis to fight Shiva despite it being clear he won't last. Cage tries to outsmart Shiva as he did with Goro in the first film. But Shiva squeezes the life out of Cage using her four arms, and Cage dies. 
Kang and Sonya are shocked and angry. Khan and Shiva disappear and Cage's body is nowhere to be found. They don't know where to go or how to find them. Scorpion appears but as an ally. He helps them lead the way to the palace of the Emperor for the final fight. Scorpion says he died once but was resurrected. He will not let Cage's soul be taken away by Khan, but he will preserve his body that perhaps Cage too will one day be resurrected. Liu Kang and Sonya reach the palace for the final fight. Liu wants Khan, but Khan decides to face Sonya. But before he does, Liu must face Kitana. Liu is in disbelief. He loves Kitana, but refuses to face her. Khan threatens once again he will take everyone's soul if Liu refuses. Liu Kang and Kitana fight slowly at first. Khan says he knows what Kitana tried to do before in the first, fo in the first movie. But now, if Kitana doesn't try, Liu will die. Kitana fights Liu till Raiden appears to break through the dungeon and stops the fight. Khan says he's had enough and he fights Raiden. Raiden and Khan go at it. Ra Khan is nearly defeated as Raiden uses his powers to subdue him. As, Khan, as Raiden goes for the kill, Khan manages to push him back and throw him into the heavens above. Raiden returns hovering over the palace with lightning blazing throughout the sky. Khan says the Earth Realm is his. Raiden blasts Khan with everything he has till Sindel tells Raiden the Earth Realm will end because this isn't fair. Raiden stops and demands a final fight. That the final fat fight itself happens now. Liu Kang and, Ka and Khan go at it. Khan was weakened in the fight with Raiden and Liu, finally overcoming Khan in the end of the film. Instead of becoming Emperor of the Outer Realm, Liu hands the, uh, hands the Outer Realm itself to Raiden, who accepts and the Earth Realm is saved. Sindel and Shiva run off into hiding. Kitana asks for Liu Kang's hand, and Raiden gives them his blessing for their marriage. The movie ends with the idea of a forever peace. Scorpion appears and tells Sonya there's a way to resurrect Johnny Cage and that she should come with him. She agrees to go off with Scorpion. So what do you think of this version of Mortal Kombat Annihilation? Post in the comments below, and thank you for watching in the plot. We'll be posting periodically, and be sure to like this video and subscribe for new content. Thanks again.